A coroner's inquest into the shooting deaths of three men began at the Montreal courthouse today. Police believe one person is responsible. It's believed he suffered from mental health issues. He was also killed by police after an alleged exchange of gunfire. The inquest hopes to shed light on the circumstances on all these deaths and if proper protocols were followed. So Olivia, today we learned that police believe the suspect killed two people, then traveled to Ontario before coming back to Quebec and killing a third person. Maya, the Sûreté du Québec believe that's exactly what 26-year-old Abdullah Sheikh did in August 2022. The SQ were the first to testify Monday in the court before the coroner uh, heard from the Montreal Police and Quebec's independent police watchdog. Inside the courtroom, SQ investigator Alexandra Caron Badbancourt said Sheikh killed André Lemieux and Mohamed Bellage, then drove to Ontario. Security footage and receipts found inside his rental car show he went to the the Toronto Zoo and Canada's Wonderland. The SQ believe Sheikh then returned to Quebec and killed Alex Levy Crevier in Laval. All three victims were killed in less than 25 hours and police say they were all killed at random with no connection to Sheikh or each other. A large part of today's hearings and the overall inquiry is about Sheikh's mental health. He was known to have mental health problems. Quebec's Mental Health Review Board ruled he posed a significant risk to public safety but could continue living in the community. Karan Vadbanc said Sheikh was diagnosed with schizophrenia around 2017 or 2018 and was not taking his medication as prescribed. Lawyer Patrick Martin Maynard says the inquest will continue to look at access to mental health services and if the proper mechanisms were in place at the time. Yeah, one big and very frequent issue that we uh, see uh, in the reality of uh, mental health services in Quebec is that there is a very significant lack of access to services uh, that makes it very difficult for uh, mental health patients to, uh, to have access to uh, the services that they need. The inquest will also look into Sheikh's death. He was shot and killed by police at the Pierre Motel in the borough of St. Laurent on August 4th after an alleged exchange of gunfire. Police say two guns were, le were linked to Sheikh, which they say were likely acquired on the black market or assembled with pieces. And the hearings just wrapped up for the day, Maya, and there are 15 more days of hearings in the coroner's inquest. Later this week, we will hear from the victim's families, including boxer David Lemieux, whose father was killed while waiting for the bus. Maya? All right, thank you very much, Olivia.